join me here currently in the cotton candy machine. I'm working my way to Intech for one reason and one reason only. To get this bad boy right here finally installed. We've had this S14 for far too long with no hydro connected. Literally everything's been set up, the calipers, all of that. We just haven't gotten the lines fully dialed in and we haven't bled the system or had it just completely all ready for function. The next time I'm drifting this car, I'm gonna be able to use the hydro cheat code. Dustin decided to join me. Well, I kind of forced him to join me. Took the sports utility vehicle out in here. Good old Tahoe. Got wheels that need new tires on them for drifting. I mean, this straight up, this is still actually the old tire where I had my blowout. That was in the beginning of one of my videos a while back. Then this is just, yeah, that's just corded. We got fresh rubber back there. Slap them on there. This is the behind the scenes of drift life. Trying to get stuff installed while also trying to always have to cycle through tires. Something tells me you're gonna have to invest in a tire machine. In the future. Yeah, I mean, investing in a tire machine will make things a lot easier. For now, I am lucky though that we already have tires by itself covered thanks to these boys right there. Every like on these videos helps us uh, continue to want to make more drifting content for you guys. So please like the video, helps it out in the algorithm, helps us out. You're gonna get crushed by a forklift. Are you a certified forklift driver? No. Not yet. No. <laughs> She's off. The wheel doesn't look anywhere near as nice from the inverted side. <laughs> and just like that, I can now say that we have fresh rubber ready for the next drift day. And we finally, we finally, finally have the hydro set up in there. We got her in here. We warmed it up a little bit. So we got the pads and everything kind of adjusted. Yeah, it's not going fast enough. The thing is, is that, yeah, you have to have the clutch in while you're doing the hydro and you need to be ready on gas. So that as soon as you're sideways, you're immediately gonna lose all your momentum and lose all your wheel speed. So you gotta immediately have gas ready to just floor it around. Okay. Oh. All right, here we go. Drop my hat. So it definitely locked him up, but we didn't really get our butt out that much. Also, we have to go back that last corner. I dropped my hat. Oh, you did? <laughs> yeah. Like out the car? Yeah. Oh, shoot. It's right after the turn. Okay. That's funny. There is Cameron's hat. There you go. Thank you, Cranston. <laughs> Dude, Cameron had his window down, and I was just about to entry for one corner, and then his hat just flew off. <laughs> and, like, we come around the like, first penny, he's like, uh, yeah, I left my hat back there. <laughs> Austin is doing what now? Uh, installing an angle kit. He's trying to get some more of that, that drift angle for this bad boy. Hey, he got the pink banner to go with my pink car. Actually, wait, wasn't this my vinyl, right? Yeah. So it's literally the exact same shade of pink, which is sick. No matter what, we just have to stay quiet because it's really late at night and we don't want to disrupt the neighbors. So at all costs, we just can't make any noise, any loud sounds. So like, that means... So not that. <laughs> Keep in mind that it's 9 p.m. on a Friday night. It's not even. Yeah, it's oh, a there Friday you go. night. No one should be like. 8:55. No one's working tomorrow. Your your screen is so bright, and your time is displayed in the sky of the the vet wallpaper, so it's like hard to see the clock. I have to let the camera Sorry. focus in. It. Yeah. You want me to change my wallpaper? Dustin yeah. likes Corvettes. If if you guys didn't know, <laughs> like a lot. <laughs> Dustin likes Corvettes. one day. <gasps> yes. I broke it. <laughs> Wait, what? what? I broke the fucking... Oh no! Is that a swivel yeah, socket? Swivel. Wait, is that something you could put back or is it just like snapped? No, it snapped. Oh! That, that was the one that was already on its way out. I oh, think. okay. So in other words, that wasn't a good sound. Well, how, many, <laughs> how many of them do you have? Two. Oh, well shit, if that one breaks, you're fucked. Uh-oh. 
Wait, is that your angle? Yeah. What? Wait, let me think. Duh. Whoa. Dude, it... <laughs> God. Dude. Dude, it looks like something's not installed. Like your Literally. rotor is just not correctly. It, it should not way. be that it far. It looks like you don't have a tie rod. Yeah. Austin's getting angle. Yes. We're going to DriftCon today. DriftCon after dark. We're taking both Japanese cars to DriftCon. Brendan's gonna be my extra driver for the extra car that's gonna come along. So you actually have a choice between if you wanna drive the GDR or the cotton candy machine. Shoot. So the choice is like fully yours. I mean, I just drove that one not too long ago. You should just do a coin flip. Well, I mean. I'll just try that. <laughs> He'll just take that. So, yeah, there is drifting happening, but this is a car show. We're just gonna be having the cars on display at the event because I also want a moment for the fans, the public, to check out this freaking glorious creation before it gets completely shredded and whatnot from drifting and stuff that happens in the future. You only have so many opportunities to actually have your drift car in this perfect state. You have the choice of what car you wanna ride in. This one. taking two today. I really better hope luck is on my side because the odds of uh, something breaking down is now double. of that RV26 in the skyline. My SR in here has cool turbo flutter, but it's just, it doesn't have that RV26 exhaust note. Once again back at beautiful Evergreen Speedway. You might, drive spot. You might pop in the trunk real quick and then I'll get a quick glance for alcohol and firearms. Yeah, for sure. She'll take care of you. Gotcha. Nice. He's opening the trunk. So they're doing trunk checks here. Like I said, stay tight with him and they'll, they'll take care of you. Okay, thank you. They're doing trunk checks here, and I don't know if you guys remember a DriftCon vlog a long, long time ago, but we actually snuck Tim into the show for free by putting him into the Skyline trunk, so they might have seen that video and caught on. Guess we can't be doing that anymore because they'd be checking these trunks out. <laughs> So Dustin, do you like that? Cause it has a V8 in it? No. <laughs> he doesn't. Oh. Mobiles down there as well. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, whenever I come to events, people don't like the motive part. I don't know why. It just doesn't resonate well with them. Well, they're, they're actually Jack Ultra Gamer fans. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is the best thing ever. Dude, congrats at your freaking win at Final Val. Coolest S13 hatch. Look at that. That's sick. And then wait, wait, wait for it. Baby seat. Baby seat in the passenger seat of the S13. Wait for it. Baby seat. <laughs> Uh-oh. Missing a gas cap. Wonder if the baby took it. Oh, I just realized he's got white wheels on this side and then black wheels on the other side. Dude, this is so freaking cool. You're about to not hear what I'm saying in about five seconds because it's loud in the other profile. All these classics in Japanese. What the? <laughs> <laughs> what, what is this doing here? He's got the Porsche logo on the headlights like my mom's mini. Dude, I'm sorry. This is not Monterey Car Week. This is DriftCon. Go home. <laughs> Check this out. Even that thing fits in more here. Even the Hyundai Elantra with whatever the crap is going on on top of it fits in more. We found a wild who's nasty fox in his natural habitat, surrounded by his natural automobiles that gravitate him. Magnetize towards it, even though stick to it. So fucking bad, dude. <laughs> this is such a sick car. It, yeah, this one, this one's really well done. Brian O'Connor, where you at? <laughs> wait, wait, reenact it? Reenact it real quick? I like me. Yes. I got the 
hydro in. I saw they were talking to me. Hydro is connected now. I know, finally. Wait, what's. Wait! <laughs> No wonder why everyone's been staring inside the car the whole entire time. Oh, you didn't know that was there? Dude, I did not know this was in the I car I thought you drew that. No, I, no, no. Wait, what is I that? I was sitting there whenever I was letting the kids sit in the car. Dude, it, there, there's been fan art chilling in the car the whole time. There's, there's, who gave you this? Uh, that was someone else at a different thing. I've seen fan art like online, but never gifted at an event. So shout out to... Uh, Finn. Finn. We stand Finn. We stand Finn. Everyone comment that right down below. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a note, Dustin. Going? Going Dude, I can't hit a high note. <laughs> Homie's got extra style points right here. And he's at steering wheel? Yeah. I am honored. Check it, check it out, check it out. Check it out. Oh. <laughs> That put some pain in like my upper back, so now it's like yeah. balancing it out a little bit. That's okay. good, that's good. You should get, like, Dude, a from this pass. angle, it looked like he smacked something else. I did. <laughs> Don't be. <laughs> so do you know all the poses? Like, I mean, there's like this one, right? There's, like, Wait, you gotta get that, you gotta get the hat set up though for those. Oh, oh, this one right here? <laughs> Going to Brad's party later. <laughs> yeah, and I swear if Brianna shows up with her new bands, like I'm gonna be pissed. Dude, you're gonna have competition with these things. <laughs> How long have you been in here? Well, that's gonna be great. If anyone takes a photo of my skyline while it's out here in the show, just know Dustin and his bright hoodie is gonna be right in it. What? Yeah, bro. Oh, god damn it. Why? Are you camera shy? I don't want to look <laughs> dumb. Dude, dude. Look at me. I don't want to look, look, look stupid. Brennan, we're dumb. Me and you? Dumb. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, wait. Take that. <laughs> wait, cover, cover your eyes. What? No, with the beanie. <laughs> <laughs> Sad. <laughs> Sad. Come on. That's true. All he did. There you go. Cover your eyes. Holding mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, on these? Yeah. They don't work anymore. Uh, so yeah. a fun fact about the skyline is that they had a very like advanced modification for its time, which is that the mirrors automatically folded. I didn't know that. With a button, which for a '90s car was hell away in the future. <laughs> now the the joke about the mirrors is that mine don't even work. <laughs> it's like how I don't have AC. Yeah. Hopefully those dollars are worth more now. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> the dollars are increasing. We got 20s. Thank you. All right, 100, 100, anyone, 100? There you go. You want to sit in the car? Yeah, you can sit in the driver's seat. How is it? You might have to pay her to get out, though. Oh, I'll pay her in the dollars I'm getting handed right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. This is a new trend. Oh my gosh. Bring me dollar bills. I'll sign them. I should have been like, I charge 50 cents per dollar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, circumnavigating a crowd of people. <laughs> Yo, the sound of Will. <laughs> the sound of the people. That beautiful flutter. It's not God. a turbo, it's a freaking bell. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's supposed to be for a SR. So that's a SR downpipe. Oh, oh boy. I mean, I don't like the thought. Arachnophobious. Like don't watch this part. <laughs> No, oh I don't like God. killing spiders. Cause I, I saw that video of the fragrant spider being like killed. Dude, oh, that's pretty huge. If you give me a cup, I'll put that's a cup huge. over it. Okay, don't actually like dent my wall, and that's not a good idea. <laughs>
punching, honestly. Bro, give me that's a cup fucking, and a piece of paper. It's a lot bro. bigger than I thought it was. I'm like, that sounds fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> that's a you good clip. You were putting that yeah. in the video. And oh, yeah. Screaming like a girl. <laughs> I'm totally not an arachnophobist. 